Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Fox Android. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to implement the indeterminant progress bar to our uh, Android application, right? So let me first show you what I'm talking about, what we're gonna get by the end of this tutorial, right? So if you can see on my mobile screen right now, so there are four buttons, design one, design two, three, and four. So there are four different designs for this progress bar. Uh, we'll be implementing all four of them and I'll be teaching you how to do that. So I'll show you all the four designs. So if I click on this design one button, so you can see, this is Google folding circles, right? The second one is also Google progress bar with four dots randomly moving. The third one is a dice progress bar. And this fourth one is colored crosshair. So this is what we'll be getting by the end of this tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification for the upcoming similar videos, right? And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so for this uh, thing we need one library that will be implementing so i have already copied that so you need to implement this library so you simply type in this and put it in the build.gradle app module so after that we'll click on sync now Okay, the sync has been completed, right? So now we uh, I have already put in these four buttons in the design here, right? Because I do not want to waste time uh, implementing these things because these are simple buttons, right? So next, what we gonna do is we need to add the new resource file, layout resource file. Okay, we'll name it as dialog wait one. Change it to relative layout. Okay. This is for designing the progress path, right? So this is what will be impl uh, implementing our in our main activity, right? We'll inflate this view. So I'll quickly put it here.
okay guys we have implemented this uh, layout resource file for the progress bar right so here we have just mentioned one text view uh, written with please wait and this is the main progress bar and we have set its type to folding circles the folding circles is the first design that we have seen while the, that appears when you click on design one button right so we need to make four uh, layout resource files for the four different progress bars right so we'll simply copy these copy and paste it here right i'll name it as two three and four right now we simply need to change the type So okay, here we have made four different layout resource files for the four different progress paths, right? So this is it. This is what we need to implement in the front end part. So now I'll quickly go to the back end Java code, right? So here I'll write down the code. Then I'll be explaining what we have done, right? I'll explain bit by bit. So first I'll write down the code, then we'll explain. Okay guys, we have uh, written the backend code as well. So here what we have done is we have just made the reference variable for the buttons and one reference variable for the dialog alert, right? That is the dialog box, which shows the progress bar. So here we have referred to all the four buttons, right? So we have set on click listener on the all the buttons, right? All the four buttons. So I'll be explaining the code inside one button 
all of them are similar just one change is there that i'll let you know so here we have made a new dialog object right passing the context of this activity then we have set, set certain att attributes right because we do not want any title on this dialog box and the we have set the content view this this dialog resource file that we have made here we have set it the content of this dialog to that layout resource file right then we have set cancelable on touch outside is false because we do not want if the user touches outside the dialog box the dialog box should not disappear right that's why we set it to false then we have shown this dialog box so for implementing the dialog box you need to write this code only this countdown timer i have just uh, written to for the illustration purpose right because i want that if i touch on that uh, button then it should appear for five seconds then automatically it should disappear so that's why i've written this code so there's nothing this is a countdown timer set the timer to five seconds and on tick uh on tick interval to one seconds so inside on finish i've just made dialog dot dismiss so whenever you want to dismiss disappear the dialog box you need to call this method dialog dot dismiss and when you want to show it you need to call this dialog dot show right so i've called dialog dot dismiss that means after five seconds this will dismiss right so similar code i've written in all the remaining three buttons the change is only this thing i have changed the layout resource file that it referenced right on design three button i've referred to dialog underscore weight three and similarly on second button dialog underscore weight two and on the fourth button dialog underscore weight four so that was the code that we need to write so i'll quickly install this app to my cell phone then we'll check if it is working fine or not right okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone now I'll quickly click on this design one so you can see nice google folding circles has been appeared so design two the floating circles design three is this colored crosshair design four is this dice one right so i guess we have successfully implemented this code right so and i also hope that you understood the code it is a quite a easy code you just need to implement one library then make the layout resource file for the progress bar and implement that into the dialog object right so i'll be putting the link of the source code in the description below so if you have any doubt and you want to refer to this code you can just click go to refer to that link and clone that github repo or if you want to read it you can read it out there so i'll be putting the link you can check it out and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the upcoming video notifications right in case you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on the screen right now so that was it for today's video see you in another video bye